I woke up surprisingly motivated during daylight hours. This one plant has been begging for a moss pole for months. Never saw this before, but the area roots were wrapping around its own stem. So time to get my hands dirty with moss. But this time I'm prepared with my Korean old lady gloves. Moss is so gross to me, so I just pre-soak a bunch and store them in a bag for later use. If you've never made a moss pole before, it's a game changer for plants. Once the plant starts climbing a moss pole and grows its area roots inside, the leaves immediately size up. The cool thing about these specific poles is that they snap in the front. This way, if you ever need to take the plant off the pole, you can pull it out from the front. It's so easy. And I know this sounds crazy, but I like having all my leaves face in the same direction and a moss pole helps that. Can you tell what kind of teacher I was? A cool one. So you just attach the plant to the pole and then you just stuff the bottom of the pole with some soil. I find this just helps stabilize the pole a little bit in the pot. Now this pot may seem a little bit small, but it's actually fine. Most of the roots will be in the moss anyway. And using plastic wrap will help keep the nodes directly touching the moss so those roots can grow. Tuck those little babies in and you're good to go. Give it a little water and finally procrastination is over after four months. And here's a preview of what it'll look like in a few months. But what seriously bugs me is the chunk that was ripped off by a sticky trap. But it's fine. I'm totally okay.